Welcome back, everybody. This is our pretty bit at the VIP. How you guys doing? We just had a wonderful, wonderful thunderstorm. I mean, it was hitting like bam. So, welcome, everybody. Okay, here we go. All right, so if it gets loud and you see me do something like that, that's because it, it's coming out of nowhere. So, welcome to everybody that's new. Okay, welcome, kings and queens. Welcome, welcome. This is our pretty D. You're at the VIP. That means make your vibration very important to thee. Okay, so I do vibrational assessments, and what does that mean? I will help you to identify the energetic blocks on your shocks, which is your chakras. If you don't know anything about your chakra system, you need to go ahead and back check me and do some research. And I try to say this and remember to say this on every video. Do not, I repeat, do not force or open up your shocks. Do not. Okay, it'll be a bad move. All right, that's just the advisory. Okay, you were warned. Okay, all right. So, the way you balance your chakras is through your thoughts. The way you open is through your thoughts. To be very honest with you, we're gonna keep it very simple. Maybe you're not gonna get technical. Okay, because I don't want y'all to get lost in the sauce. All right, your thoughts is what gets you caught. Okay. Your thoughts is what gets you caught. Your thoughts is what makes your shock box a shit box. In return, it will block your shocks and then it will lock your shocks. Okay? All right? So what I do in these energy, little temporary, little five-minute, ten-minute little energy reads, I try to give you seeds. Okay? To go ahead and pick up. That's if you want to. Advise up. Create that position of strength. Do your inner prep to inner step. Okay? Instead of out of prep, a lot of people do a lot of out of prepping. Meaning, example, when people get a divorce, they do out of prep. They go get ass, they go get titties, they go get Botox, whatever. That's real easy to do. Do your inner prep. The inner prep is what's going to take the longer. Because what happens, the reason people do out of prep, you say, why do they do that first? Well, one of the reasons, I'm just one of my opinions they do it first, is because they let the other person or the breakup be about their value instead of that person's experience or that his choice. Because you can't control people at the first of the day on whatever choice they decide to stay with you or leave you for somebody else. It has nothing actually to do with you. But people make it about them. Okay? So that's I think that's one of the reasons, you know. So develop those skills and inner strength. So this is going to be for Sagittarius. Let's get it overall real quick, okay? And I got a message for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so I found them. I didn't use these on the Aries, but I found them on the Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, I didn't know where my little slap card was hiding. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Sagittarius, beware of your effect on others. Find a way to make your energies, okay, your energy, while still being, okay, find a way, what did I write there, to mute your energy, okay, this is Sagittarius, sound like you kind of allow, show off, okay, or maybe your expression, expressions are very strong, so mute be so you need to do some self-awareness right off the bat. Okay. Allow yourself to be less dense and more transparent so others can see the light in you. Learn to handle your disappointments and pop your box to pop your locks. Okay. And there's also Sagittarius out here. You can't tell how they feel. So transparent means show some feelings, some emotions in your life, in an area of your life. We all have shit to still we have to work on. I don't care who you are. I don't care how namaste you say you are or namasta. <laughs> People kill me with this with this enlightenment shit. You're always going to, baby, one double, another level. Okay? That's what I say. One double, another level. So you get rid of one, it's always another one coming. That's the way it is. Regulate your energy, Sagittarius. Be driven by it. 
Okay, don't be driven by it. So you're driven by your energy. Yeah. Get a handle on that. Stop playing like you a uh, uh it says you playing like you a uh, uh, an angel, but you actually a devil. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Good thunder on that one. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see here. Regulate your energy. Stop being driven by it. Most children think that they are devils who play at being angels when very often it is the reverse. It is the devils playing as their angel. Devils who play at their angel, but it's the reverse. So this means it's angels playing as their devils. Okay, that's what it means. Oh, let's do that again. Okay, Sagittarius. So that means angels are playing devils. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, the past is calling you to be heard. Embrace, become unstuck because you're because you in a rut right now. Honor the players that played the game. <coughs> Somebody gotta play it. Okay, your thoughts. I keep telling you what gets you caught. Okay. Your thought will shape you, shift your shift you, and return your energy will shape you, shift your shit you. Okay. Unresolved issues will shape you and shit you. Negative belief systems will shape you and shift you. Okay? Being over-aggressive will shape you and shift you. You understand what I say about the shape shift? I just don't say it to be cute. I, I don't. Okay? Over a period of time, this shit will manifest as it's shifting. So when it blocks up, it's almost like you're being constipated, right? It shits, it shit. Okay? That's just my analogy of it. All right? So once again, your thought attitude shifts you. Okay? Unresolved issues going to shift you. Then it's going to shit you. Negative belief systems, okay? Same thing. One more. Let's go. I wouldn't mind living somewhere. It was windy, kind of. I like that little uh, midday gloomy weather. I like that where it's windy and cloudy. And ooh, I like that weather. I do. Okay, so you have some self-created demons. Okay, and this is coming from your past. Sagittarius, it's going to get with you. You got some self-created demons from your past. Your past is calling you to be heard because right now it got you stuck and something got your ass in a rut. And it's due to your past, okay? Because you do not want to accept change. You need to pop your box so you can pop your blocks, okay? You need to embrace the change. Change to embrace, okay? And when you embrace change, that's using your wisdom. That's not self-created demons, okay? When you accept change, you're creating your wisdom. Instead of you want to, you want to be involved instead of evolve, okay? Evolution. You need to start evolving instead of being evolved. Okay? All right, my friend? Word of the wise. Pick it up. Okay? Do your research. Back check me. Okay. Let's go. You got to float on, Sagittarius. Leo. He says his name is Paul. He says he like all the women of the world. Okay, this one need to come out. Because you ain't fitting in, my friend, for some reason. Okay, no wonder. Yeah, it goes over here. No wonder. Okay, that feels better. Cancer. Cancer. He said his name is Larry. And everybody. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, this is the self-mastery. I should explain that with the Aries. This is your self-mastery. So this is something that you need to work on self. Everything in this deck is self, okay? It may be some shit you need RIP. Maybe some shit you need to analyze the way you move it or examine yourself with a cold eye. Okay, so like this one, for instance, the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper got you confused. The Pied Piper, there's a Pied Piper that enticed you. 
Okay, this is what happened. You didn't pop your box. You weren't strong enough. So now you're confused and something is alarming for you. And now you're obsessed with it, okay? Right here. That pop your box. You see how that came out? Okay, so obsession, confusion, right? And the obsession and confusion, friend, is, is self-consuming you. It's consuming you. Self-consuming, my friend, okay? It's self-consuming you. Acting to destroy, taking all the person's time and attention. This is taking all your time and attention. Okay, energy flows where attention goes. That's an old ancient saying, my friend. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. These are self-created demons, my friend. Okay, something has changed here. It needs to change. You want to embrace that change. You're not using your wisdom. Okay, so look, regulate your energy. Man, we talked about that. Regulate your energy. Okay, you need to regulate that. All right, pop your box, my friend. The past is calling you. Okay. Yeah, you in the energy to deceive. When you in obsession, confusion, these are mental links. When I talk about, I talk about chain links and mental links, okay? This is what happened with your shocks as well. This is another way you could think of it. Obsession is a link. Confusion is a link, okay? Self-consuming. So when you get obsessed, that's that's the thought that got you caught was the obsession. The thought that got you caught was the confusion. The thought that got you caught was the alarming. That's what got you caught. What got you bought was the self-consuming. And then what it did, what I tell you, thoughts shape you, shift you, and shit you, right? Then we got energy, energy to receive, right? So then what the energy did was shape you, shift you, and shit you. At this point, you didn't pop your box. That's because you are self-consuming. So what you need to do here, Sagittarius, is analyze the way you're moving. Okay, my friend? Do some self-awareness because you got self-created demons. Okay? This is an exercise, for real. Yeah. This is, this, create the position of change. So you can create the position of strength. Start with your thoughts. All right. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of emperors lately, and honey, that's a different type of energy. And not, not me, let me say not see. I've been hearing them be in the store, and it's like they have a certain way that they move, and it's weird. You can hear them. It's like boom, boom, and then I check it against a regular person that's still sleep, unconscious. Man, it's a whole different vibration, man. Whole different looking vibration. I was like, woo, woo, woo. Mm mm. The crown just pops. Mm mm. mm. I tell you, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's see here. Okay, are you ignoring signs of illness or stress in your life? So this is stressing you out, and this is becoming an illness, my friend. Because compulsive thinking at the end of the day is an illness, and it's addictive. This is why it says your past is, 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 is calling you to be heard. So you become unstuck. Because right now, you're in a rut, friend. Sagittarius, yes, sir. Like the church say, yes, sir. How you do that there? How you, it's enough said. Yes, sir, my friend. So whoever this is, I know this is somebody. Can't tell me it's not. Because I talk about real life shit. It's something, it's self-consuming you, Sagittarius. Whatever it is. Okay. So as it says, a tarot reader. Paying for comments, views. This is coming up again. There's a tarot readers paying for comments, views, subscribers, and likes. Okay. One of the reasons why somebody is YouTube channel is the stuff. Self betrayal just uh, fell out. Okay, so whoever you guys are, this is for the tarot readers who's paying for uh, comments and views and likes. YouTube is something's gonna happen. YouTube is about to bust y'all, so you, be, you need to be careful with that. Cause what's new? Okay, so I'm, this is a message for somebody. There's some tarot readers paying for comments, subscribers, and viewers, and you guys are being watched. One of the reasons why YouTube finds YouTube is gonna find out. You guys have somebody's being watched for that. Okay, cause the numbers are not adding up. All right. And when you do this, you're self betraying yourself, my friend. So maybe some terrorists are self consumed with paying for views and likes and subscribers. They can't pop that box and help themselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that's, and that's being an energy also to um, deceive. So there's a, maybe there's a Sagittarius out there that's doing that. Okay. Sagittarius, you need to pop your box, my friend, and stop. Also, Sagittarius, this is Sagittarius. You're ignoring some signs of your illness. Your, this is, this is, this mind is obsession. Okay. Let's see what else we have, Sagittarius. Learn something, burn something, my friend. Okay, yeah, you need to do some self-discovery, my friend. Okay, the snakes. Snakes are shedding. shedding. Snakes shed their skin, right? Let go. Okay, let go of the snake rolls. 
Okay, let go. It is time. I, I, this is my car. I said detoxification right here. I talk about detoxification, but we're going to change that. Okay, we're going to say disinfect. PSA announcement. So it's time for you to dis disinfect your energy. Okay, flow every level. We're talking about disinfect. You need to disinfect from the spiritual level, the mental level, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. Spiritual, mental, emotional, and your physical. Okay, respect and nurture yourself by setting your own personal boundaries. And one of the ways you can do this, and I'm just going to make a suggestion, start with fasting. Eat some fruits, some vegetables, some smoothies. Okay, meditate. Put on your battle warrior prayer at night. I don't care if you got to go to sleep with it. That helps with it as well. Yes, it does. Putting on your hertz uh, for your chakras, three, um, 32 hertz, 9, 36 hertz. Okay. Yeah. And this will help. Trust. I, 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 put, I guarantee it will. Don't play with me. Yes, it will. Okay. That's the key. Because you got to remember the flesh is raging war on the spirit and the spirit is raging on the, on, on the uh, flesh. It's a balance you need, Sagittarius. Yeah, see? Self-discipline. Write yourself a spiritual discipline. Stop mastering your pieces. Because, see, the thing about it, you guys be trying to find discipline, fix discipline, and people tell you you need to have some self-discipline. You do have a self-discipline in your pieces. So all you got to do what? Is change the pieces, right? That you self-discipline in. You already have self-discipline. Because you have mastered your pieces instead of peace. So instead of you looking at self-discipline like you don't have any self-discipline, put in your mind, I do have self-discipline, but I need to do some inventory because my self-discipline is discipline in the wrong fucking pieces. I need to self-discipline. I need to put some peace under, under the self-discipline. You see how they go? Feel me? Okay. That hope they help. So pop your box. Because what's happening is you got a lot of folks out here stop trying to make whole shit sound like holy shit. And this is what's happening. Okay? Yeah. That's why we have self-control out here, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody out here need to do a self-assessment and pop your box, my friend. Because you are ignoring your illness and the stress in your life. Okay? Because somebody trying to take whole shit and make it sound like holy shit. For instance, with these twin flames and these soulmates. I don't give a shit. Everybody got their different views and opinions, but I'm a fact check me. I know for a fact. When your twin or twin flame or whatever you want to call it, divine partner, sacred union, when you meet them, 99, 100% of the times they are already in a partnership and they marry. You do not supposed to go sleep with him or put yourself, your energy in a position of you being a side chick. But most people out here, they clicking. They want to look at her like she's a side chick. And, and no, you still, you don't do that. And you de most definitely don't supposed to sleep with you. You're supposed to respect that shit and learn from that shit. Okay? So that's what I mean by people trying to take uh, whole shit and turn it into holy shit. Still, you're supposed to have respect and integrity. I don't care. You're supposed to have, just because he's your soulmate or your twin, you don't have no right to sleep with him. He got he, He's with somebody else. You have no right to. No rights. Shit. Yeah, but damn. Yeah, they be killing me with that. Yeah, trying to make side chicken sound like it's it, it's holy chicken. Get the fuck out of here. Excuse me for cussing. FYI. <laughs> okay. Sagittarius, something about a Virgo. Fell out. Yeah, stop mastering your piece. You need to, you need to do a self-assessment, a damn inventory. Pop your box and do your inventory, which comes with self-awareness, self-awareness. Understand, self-examinate, and see why. What, what, get rid of some of them pieces. Okay, somebody's out here having suicidal thoughts. Virgo, Virgo energy. Okay, they may not have any self-control. If somebody's out here having suicidal thoughts, my friend, you need to go ahead and call somebody. Do not do that. Sagittarius or Virgo. And I know that energy you're talking about, it comes over you, and it's like you can't shake it, but you have to fight it. You got to call on the blood at that point. You got to call on the blood at that point. See, you guys fuck out about the blood. I don't talk a lot and say a lot. I get bits and pieces. But you guys forget to call on the blood. Folks want to know how I do what. You better call on the blood. 
Because somebody needs some self-control, ability to control your emotions. It's, it's difficult for somebody to control their emotions right now. Pop your box. Yeah, this is why this illness is here. This is why we got this confusion and something that's alarming. Bad self-betrayal and betrayal. Yeah. Codependence, possessive and jealous, yeah. This may have something to do with heart chakra. This person's heart chakra is 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 it's not even blocked, it's locked. Yeah. Taurus and um there may be a Taurus out here and a Libra as well that's going through this. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm picking up Leo too. That's a Leo may be going through this. You know, it, it kills me, it really kills me when people uh on this journey, people do end up on a gurney and lose their balance and lose the challenge. Because of their thoughts got they caught. And instead of us seriously praying for one another and, and, and taking that 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 she was rowdy or she was two-faced or she was, wasn't shit out the game. Because when they lose, when I see this loss right here, that means these were soldiers. I keep telling you our crackheads, tackheads, holes, I don't care with them who they are. They are the soldiers and these are why they have so many roots that these principalities attack themselves to them because they don't want them to wake up because they wake up, it's going to be a shake-up. So whoever this is or whoever this get to, my friend, call on the blood. Try me. Try me and call on the blood. Call on the blood. If you got to fight it, call on the blood, okay? And call for some help, my friend, for real. Okay, balance, yeah, you got to balance your emotions because these are you're in pieces, whoever this is. Yeah, this person's uh, emotions are not balanced. Yeah, we got suicide. Yeah, change. Yeah, you got to change your attitude. See, this is the thing. If you can't change the situation, just accept it, man. Yeah. Determines your direction. Change the attitude. Just accept it. Nothing. You guys got to remember. You got to snap back. Stop looking back. Stop walking back. You got to snap back, Sagittarius. You got to snap back. You got to. You got to. You got to snap back. You got to snap back, friend. Yeah, there's a Virgo or Sagittarius got having suicidal thoughts. And I'm picking up Leo too. There was lack of, um, somebody has a lack of conviction. So whatever it is, Sagittarius, maybe you had no lack of conviction. Now it has left you in self-conflict, okay? Self-conflict equals internal conflict. So you were in some type of internal conflict. That's where we got the obsession and confusion here, my friend. Yeah, it's about Jack and Jill. Yeah, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Yeah. Jack fell down and broke the crown, and, and Jill came stumbling, crumbling afterward, my friend. Yes. So now we're worried about some about something. We're watching. That's also a block on your shocks. Worrying energy, waiting energy, wishing energy, watching energy are all blocks on your shocks. Pop your box. This is why you need to pay attention. Because somebody, somebody needs to pay attention to their emotions, my friend. Yeah. I don't like that suicide card. The suicide energy is out here. That tarot card, I'm paying for pay, uh, uh, comments. So whoever this is, this is a warning. You're about to get busted. Okay? That's a warning. So you need to watch yourself. Whoever that's paying for comments, subscribers, and viewers, you guys about to, somebody's about to, so they're watching you. Okay? So you need to be careful about that shit. They're watching you. They're watching somebody. Yeah, because it's going to be a game changer. Yeah, somebody was fooled and blinded. And it's left them in internal conflict. Yeah. Somebody was fooled and blinded. Magic, somebody use magic, res trying to resurrect. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I got magic at the bottom. Y'all just can't see it. Somebody was trying to, was using some magic and it blinded somebody. Yeah. And it also self-consumed this. And now somebody is in uh, confusion. Yeah. Been knocked off their balance. Yeah, so somebody did some magic. So that's what you worried about, Sagittarius. Somebody's worried about what the magic they did. Yeah. Somebody's worried about it. So if you put magic on somebody for somebody who has suicidal thoughts, I keep telling you what spins around comes around. Because Sagittarius, somebody was on that who I am blocks. You committed to be on who I am instead of uh, being on I am that I am. You was on that material shit, who I am, my house, my education. You didn't analyze the way you moved, my friend. 
Okay? This is why magic was done in this situation. Somebody want this king for the who I am. Now there's resentment and pain here. Okay? Because somebody here also has woken up to a spiritual connection, got some mental clarity about somebody was doing magic and they didn't woke up about somebody just wanted to be with them Sagittarius for that who I am shit. Yeah. Okay. So you have shaped and shift. You see what I'm saying? How you shape and shift your shit? I keep telling you. Yeah. Now you got fear of the unknown right here. Self-created demons. Yeah. This is my self-created demons right here. Yeah. You didn't do no self-regulate. I told you you got to self-reflect and self-detect. You should self-detect so you can self-reflect, okay? You have to. Now you got the fear of the unknown. These are the self-created. You have fear of the unknown, fear of fear, fear of change, and fear that you made a mistake. These are all spiritual blocks on your shocks, and then they will lock them up. Because now you feel like you need protection. You want to communicate that you need protection. Yeah. There's protection. Somebody wants to communicate they need protection about... What is that I wrote? Somebody needs to feel like they need protection. They want to communicate. Yeah. You feel like you need protection from something, my friend. You better get to praying. Stop worrying about, yeah. Now you're self-conscious. Okay, maybe you're self-conscious that you need protection. Yeah. Right? Maybe you're self-conscious. Now, paranoid that you need protection. Maybe you communication. Maybe you're hearing shit. Uh-huh. Maybe that's what that means. Maybe you're hearing some shit. Yeah. Paranoid. Paranoia didn't set in. My friend, this is why we got uh, obsession with your thoughts. That's why we got you combined in your mind. Okay. Yeah, you need to rely. You need to create the position of strength, friend, and rely in your own energy. Pop your box. Pop that box, friend. This is it. Okay. Yeah, because you was fooled. And you was fooled. Now you gotta rely. You was fooled. It knocked you out. It knocked you out the box because these are.